Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're looking at a couple more plays this week. Uh, today the play I have is called Rope-A-Dope. If you guys are familiar with Muhammad Ali, he had that one fight where he went round after round just kind of taking punches. Defense, 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 and then he turned it into offense. Similarly with this play, I'm going to be in a rally with Mark here. And the scenario is as such. Mark is going to get a forehand mid-rally that he's going to attack cross-court. It's going to put me on defense. And a lot of times in that situation, we tend to go high cross-court. When we are struggling to find the ball out in front of us and we're a little defensive, we go high cross-court. In this situation, the problem with that is Mark's a high-level player and more often than not, he can get a jump on that high cross-court ball, either come in, take it on the rise, and put a ball away. He might even sneak in, take the next one out of the air. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down the line with this thing. Most likely a vertical forehand, because when I'm caught deep in the corner, uh, on defense, a vertical forehand produces height and spin for me. It's a good bailout type of shot. And a lot of times when we hit late, the ball goes down the line anyways. So I'm going to target down the line, kind of flip the script on Mark, and a lot of times that might catch the opponent off guard that he's now having to deal with a backhand after he expected a forehand, and I might be able to sneak around in the middle of the court and look for a ball to attack myself and go from very defensive to very offensive. Okay, so let's take a look first at the, at the traditional scenario that a lot of us use, which is to take that defensive forehand back cross court, and let's see if Mark makes me pay for that. So there it is right there, kind of buggy whip cross court from me, little defensive. Mark stepped into that rips it down the line. He could probably go back cross court and get me there. So really all I'm going to do is flip the script, go down the line with the buggy whip. I think I'm definitely hoping to target past the service line. Again, I'm dealing with a pretty tough ball there. If I can't get it past the service line, oh, oh well, but try to get that ball a little higher, a little deeper, shade back to the middle and see if you can get your, uh, your racket on an attacking shot on the next ball. All right, so let's take a look. All right, so that worked out. I love that because I'm going to hit buggy whip almost always when I'm late in the corner anyways. So it's kind of a built-in shot for me. Going down the line, not necessarily built in. But I definitely got Mark hitting a less aggressive ball than he most likely would going cross court. So the rope-a-dope. Look for that play once your forehand gets pressed a little bit in the corner. See if you can start hooking that buggy whip up the line. It's got height, it's got spin. It works when we hit late. It's a great play to use to keep that high level guy over there guessing. All right, so that's all I got for you today. Hope that was super helpful. Please click like below this video. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please do so, as well as check down below me in the description of this video. You'll find the link to three free courses Mark and I have put together. I think you'll find those great as well. All right, so until next time, be well. We'll see you soon.